crew here has ever walked into a room and noticed they were a little out of place or the odd one out and didn't quite fit in. It's similar to that feeling of walking into a new class and you realise everyone knows each other so they're chatting to one another but you don't know anyone. If you've ever felt like this, put your hands up. I'm going to put my hands up because this is something I have personally experienced. And if you put your hands up, thank you for being honest, being brave enough to be honest. I think if we were all truly honest with ourselves, all of us at some point have felt this. My name is Marie Salcantara, and I am Filipino, Australian, and now an LA transplant. I'm also a cancer researcher with a doctorate, and today I want to talk to you all about belonging. You're probably expecting me to talk about belonging from the perspective of an immigrant, but I actually didn't dive into my sense of belonging from the immigrant identity, but from the perspective of a professional who is striving to carve out a space where my education, expertise, and contributions could truly matter. Now, I'm not an expert in the field of belonging, so I'm going to be talking to you about this from my own personal experience and my limited understanding of the research. Why should we all care about belonging? Well, we should care about it because it's critical to our well-being and success. Belonging means connection, purpose, and self-worth, enabling us to thrive in our personal and professional lives. When we feel like we belong, we are more engaged, we're resilient, and we're empowered to contribute to our communities in empowered ways. And the opposite is true. When we feel like we don't belong, we become isolated, insecure, undermining our potential, and making it harder for us to grow, connect, and create meaningful and successful lives. And isn't a fulfilling, successful life something that we're all striving for? When we think of belonging, a lot of us assume that it's something out of our control, something decided by other people. It's either something we have or we don't, right? We believe it depends on whether people accept us, a group welcomes us, or an organization makes space for us. And while there's some truth to this, my, top, my research into this topic also suggests a different reality. We have more control over our sense of belonging than we have been led to believe. I'm gonna tell you a story. When I was just starting out in my field, I was given an incredible opportunity to attend a national meeting where I would be on stage with some leaders in my field. I was a young scientist and I was excited to be given this opportunity. I was excited to connect with people, learn and contribute. But something happened as I walked into that room and moved from one conversation to another. I realized most of the people around me were clinical doctors or professionals who were treating patients. And I had never treated patients, so I felt like the odd one now. I had a different degree and a different expertise. I, the only patients that I had ever treated were mice. I thought to myself, what am I doing here? But I believed in the work that I was doing and that one day it may potentially be used in patients. However, at one point in the meeting, one of the doctors approached me and said, what's an immunologist, me, doing at this meeting? And he wasn't being intentionally dismissive of me. It was a genuine question. But for me, that question was like a moment, a spotlight shining on all the ways I already felt different and out of place. I wasn't seeing patients, I wasn't in the clinic, I was just a junior scientist. And before going onto that stage, I began to feel a growing sense of doubt. Was I in the wrong place? Am I the wrong type of doctor? Should I even be here? Do I belong? And to be honest, I let the doubt and insecurity win. I felt small and I let it defeat me. I felt like my research was less less important than everyone else's. And when I went onto that stage, I felt like an imposter, terrified that someone would point out to me that I didn't belong there. Unfortunately, for a long time after this, I carried this feeling of not belonging around. 
of feeling like an imposter until it began to affect my confidence and ultimately the quality of my work. But over time, I began to realize something. I had been waiting for someone, anyone, to tell me I belonged in my chosen field, the field I had spent years studying and waiting for some external evidence that I belonged there, that I was accepted, and that's when it hit me. Belonging isn't something that gets handed to us. It's not in anyone else's hands but our own. And the research in the field of belonging supports this idea that we can build our own sense of belonging. So I want to share with you the three things that I did to take ownership of my sense of belonging and improve my confidence in connection and purpose and software in my career. So step one, I recognized that it was under my control. Step two, I utilized affirmations. In a research study by Jeffrey Cohen from Stanford, students who had a low sense of belonging in college were asked to use positive affirmations. And over time, this resulted in improvement in their grades and GPA. So I began using this technique. I would affirm to myself, I am enough, my work has value, I belong here. And step three, I began looking outward and building a community around me at work, outside of my immediate environment. I began saying hello to the bus driver, who brought me to campus every morning. I learned the names of people who worked in my building. I made an effort with people who were around me every day. And these were small everyday moments, but over time, they began to grow. Through these small gestures, I created connections. I started building my own community, one that wasn't bound by the titles, the academics, and the accolades that I had built my self-esteem on, but by human kindness and connection. The funny thing is, the more that I made people feel seen around me, the more that I felt seen, and belonging soon became a reality for me, but and for other people around me. The beauty of this approach is that it's accessible to everyone. No matter who you are or where you are, you can take your belonging into your own hands. You can choose words that affirm your worth. You can choose to look beyond yourself and recognize the people around you who make your day a little bit better. So to anyone who's ever felt different like me and like they don't belong, don't wait for people to give you permission Claim your sense of belonging and the confidence that comes with it. Go out there, build connections, even if you have to start small. Say hello to people, reach out, and create the community you wish you had. The truth is, if you feel like you don't belong, like I do, it's because you're different. You're in the space someone like you hasn't occupied before. But that's what pioneers do. Scientists, inventors, trailblazers. They all step into the unknown. And the world needs us, people who don't belong, to bring different perspectives, fresh fresh perspectives and solve problems and be the first. So I encourage you all to be fearless. And when you don't fit in, build your sense of belonging because it's not just for yourself but for those around you. And finally, just remember, you belong, I belong. We just have to go out there and claim it. Thank you.